It's gonna rain out today, man. We're about to hit the road right quick. I'm gonna take y'all along with me. We're going to the uh, John Deere uh, dealer, uh, our ag dealer, Wade Equipment. And I'm gonna pick up a hydraulic top link for my PT75E. And then we're gonna end up back in my shop. I'm gonna do a good bit of filming today. I'm gonna be messing with the chainsaws a little bit. Probably gonna end up filming about four different videos today. It'll be shown at a later time, so. Not sure what all the rest of this video, it'll probably, I'm gonna do some lawnmower stuff. I gotta service my lawnmower and all that stuff like that, so. So this is it. Just picked it up. Uh, I gotta get some lines made for it. I'm about to lay it up there on it and get some measurements for the lines. I got, uh, I got the quick connects for it. We'll get that done right quick and run right here in the edge of town and Give me a couple of lines made for it, and then uh, uh, she'll be in uh, she'll be in business. My other my new hauling tractor that I had, I had a, a really nice top link cylinder for it. I'm not sure what brand it was. I picked it up from a guy here, and it actually had a uh, it was foreign made, but it was really really good. It actually had a guide rod on it that followed it went around the rod in the it had a slot here, a hole that the guide rod went through and it had measurements on it. So you could adjust that cylinder and you could tell on that guide rod where you were if you were like, like doing some really fine grading. And then when I swapped tractors and I went to the, to the lot larger tractor, the 100 horsepower tractor, I ended up letting that cylinder go. I had a friend of mine that, that needed one because I didn't need that cylinder no more. So he bought it from me and because I was just using a manual top link on that big tractor all the time with a hay mower and that stuff like that. And I wish I had that other cylinder back now. So I got this one, this one right here. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't very much at all. I, I was kind of surprised at it, what it, what it cost. So let's go get a, let's go get a uh, lines made up. Something else I'm working on too. I'm working on, I've got gas heat in here but i want to put one of those uh reverber ray um infrared heaters in here that i can hang up and uh i'm working on i'm working on that right now uh started on that yesterday and gonna get that done just kind of knock the chill off in here about to put this cylinder on this thing Get that done. Sit there right there. Gotta put the lines on it too. See how I got this thing done. So I put my hand over that hole so that thing wouldn't squirt me. Help I ran that screw, that bolt out a bit. I'm not a fan of pipe threaded fittings, and I don't understand, never have understood still why on these cheaper cylinders like these that they would even put 
pipe threads on them. I guess it's just simpler for them to do it that way. But I'm not a fan of them. I prefer a JIC or O-ring, and that's what I did here. I adapted. I'm going in with a half inch pipe thread on with a 90 and coming in with a JIC on it then. That's the game plan. cylinder they won't be sticking straight up in the air or straight down I'm gonna lay these up That dog was gonna hunt. I thought they were gonna be touching each other, but that's gonna work pretty good. All right, let me move my stuff. We'll smoke her off here and see what happens. Other valve, other valve, other valve. I pressured that thing up. <laughs> Come on, baby. Get some pressure off that. Let me do it like this. We'll put it in float. It'll connect in. All right.
make sure we got clearance. Yes, we do. I'm watching this clearance right here between this rod and the top of that link right there. Now let me check the barrel. Boy, that is close. I mean, I mean, it's only about an eighth of an inch between the barrel and a and this crossbar right here on that, which is fine. I mean, as long as it's that much, that's okay, because that's all the way in right there. Knocked all that dirt off just then. That was real bright. So you can run it in float too. I got a float on this thing right here. Okay. All right. One other thing. No leaks. That was a goal. I mean, y'all were cringing, thinking I was going to cut my finger just then. I kind of had my doubts, too. Okay, but we...
No. Would not have thought that those would have been category three right there. Because that's a two up there on top. But it is. So we got that project out of the way. There, very nice. I measured them. There was an inch difference between them. And then when I stuck the 90s in there, I subtracted one more inch off of them. So they were, uh, this one was 20, and this one was 19 inches is what it was. So it worked out. Cause I didn't want to have them, I didn't want to have a big bow or loop in them where they were like hanging down or anything like that because I've seen a lot of them over the years. They got too much line on them. It's going to be real good with this blade on here or any other blade as far as that goes. And then the bush hog too, well, they work really, top link works really good on a bush hog because you can take that bush hog and say you're riding brush down with it. You can take that bush hog and you can lift that back all the way up where you can get up with a good angle on it and back up to it and then ease it down on it. Works really good, but they really shine in this uh, on blades. And you can just adjust them on the go up there. Is all. All right, we're good to go. Got that installed. Uh, the cylinder lines and fittings. Let's, let me figure it out real quick. And the quick connects, I still had uh, under under three hundred dollars in it. So you know, I filmed these videos, and I've got the camera running. I was mic'd up on this one. I had the mic a little bit too hot on this video. It's been a while since I've run the wireless mic. I've run the shotgun mic all the time on this camera, and you have to adjust it a lot lower when you put the wireless mic on it but anyhow it's kind of weird feeling because <laughs> I feel like y'all are there with me while I'm filming like looking over my shoulder so there's a lot of times I'll be doing something I'll look around I look around to see who's looking you know what I mean and uh, it's pretty cool but I just Put, I've been wanting to get a top link and I had talked to them at Wade about getting a top link back during the fall. And they said they'd be ordering some more this spring. And, and I went up there and I picked up uh, the stuff to service the lawnmower back, I guess about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago when we rained out. It's probably been three weeks ago now. Right right after the first of the year. They told me they, they had quite a few of those soldiers coming that they had ordered. And, so they texted me last week and said they had it in. I went up there and got it. The only thing is they don't make lines there. They don't make hydraulic lines there. So when I left there, all I had was a cylinder. So I came back home and, and roughly figured, I took some string is what I did and worked it around. And then I measured the string with what I thought that, uh, the lengths that I thought that I needed. And, and, Put it together just like what y'all seen right there but the hydraulic top link will change the dynamics of that tractor a lot it'll especially with a blade or well or anything you've got hooked on the three-point hitch it will uh, it'll make it a lot different than what it was and the flow seems to be really good i noticed it was a got a good bit of speed to it going in and out so that's pretty good so I can't wait to use it. Or I hadn't, I hadn't done anything with the driveway yet. It's just been, when we've been off, it's been raining. And uh, and then I've had a couple weekends where I probably could have done it, but I just really didn't feel like fooling with it. I got a, 
I got, I want to go out there to cure and get some more rock. You know, I want to get at least four more loads, and I need to move the backhoe out there to do that. So just a bunch of different things. I didn't feel like doing it, but uh, so that's what I'm doing. I do want, like I said in the part, one part of the video there, I want to uh, give me one of those infrared heaters in my shop, and I'm kind of working on that. I did get some more stuff. Those of y'all who follow me on Instagram. I uh, saw so I got two more packages in today from Milwaukee Tools and it's going to kind of surprise you what they sent me this time. Uh, it's some of the stuff that I asked for though, which was uh, which was pretty cool, but it's laying over here in the floor. I'll show you all that later. Um, but I was pretty happy with what I got, so we'll, we'll see. But uh, while y'all are watching this, we're going to be working in the woods today. We got rained out this week. Had some rain Wednesday and Thursday. I did film the other logger today. Today happens to be Friday. I filmed him and his equipment and some today and hope to film some more with uh, with him and uh, with his stuff running. But uh, appreciate all y'all. Thank you for watching. As I always say at the end of my videos. Later, taters.